I have often remarked that nothing will get a producer as mad as finding a bag of purchased supplement without a feed tag, or worse yet, a supplement that doesn't live up to the quality printed on that tag. This is odd to me that so many put such a huge stock in the quality of their feed, yet have no idea what their hay will test. Most supplements are fed at a rate of 2 to 6 pounds slash day. A 1,200 pounds cow will eat 30 pounds of dry matter per day. Assuming we feed 4 pounds of the supplement, this cow will still need 26 pounds of something else, usually this is hay. This indicates the feed tag tells us the quality of only one eighth of her diet. In this scenario the quality of the largest portion of her diet, hay, is not known. And since it is seven-eighths of her daily intake it will, for a large part, determine the overall quality of the diet. Hay sampling is critical to evaluate daily nutrient intake and therefore effectively winter a cow. Hay sampling is not difficult and should be a part of a yearly routine to prepare for winter feeding. Samples can be taken from the windrow once hay has cured, but may be easier and more representative once the hay is baled at proper moisture. If hay is baled slightly green and going through a heat, wait until this process is complete to sample. Your local county extension educator has sample probes that can be checked out from your local office and will make the job much easier. Much like soil sampling, getting a representative sample is critical to obtaining useful information. Take cores randomly through the haystack from at least 10 bales and mix these cores together. If you have hay from different cuttings, fields or grass species send these in separately as they will all test differently. Hay feeding strategy and needed supplementation will be easy to calculate once samples are analyzed and the results become available. The cost of sampling forage or hay for protein and energy analysis as TDN, can be done for a small fee of $14. An OSU forage test can assist you in knowing just how much supplementation will be needed this winter. More information on proper sampling can be found in OSU Fact Sheet PSS, 2589. And remember, the forage test allows us to group our hay based on quality, not appearance. Feed the lowest quality hay first, before winter weather sets in and save the best hay for times when the cow herd has the highest nutrient demands.